Right. So then I think you need to come get that eminent do domain discretionary piece taken care of before you can get into that process. I mean, because you guys, I mean, you guys are, are operating on the reliance that the council is going to approve the condemnation. <laughs> And again, I think a sewer easement versus taking 20,000 square feet of property are two very yeah, different right. levels. And, and so maybe there's a difference in, in the practical side of operations from that standpoint. But, I mean, you guys got to make that determination. So I guess, one, do we have, whether the Corporation Council knows that, do we have a binding agreement that we have to buy this other property, no matter what? Well, <clears throat> in this case, in this case, uh, probably. Well, that's uh, it, it, the uh, offer was accepted, so uh, it appears to be a, a binding contract. So there is there is a written document that is the there's offer a written acceptance. offer. There's a written offer that's that was got a written acceptance. Yes, okay. that's my understanding. Can we get a copy of that? Yes. Okay. Did Corporation Council was Corporation Council involved in drafting that document? No. No. No, it's just, a, it's just a basic letter that just says, uh, you know, we've done the appraisal. Um, it was, done, you know, completed by a bona fide appraiser. This is the amount we're offering you. Do you accept or not? And if you accept, please sign below. So from Corporation Council side, going back to real property class, first year of law school, all the, all the pieces necessary for a real property contract exist in this letter that's been signed by both sides? It appears to be yes. It appears. Have you guys you've looked at it? I, I guess I don't understand. The appears to be either. You know, at this point, it's a legal call as to whether it does or not. Yeah, it appears to be a binding contract. <laughs> okay, I guess that's the best we're going to get. Yes. What's does the department have a plan if the condemnation doesn't go through? What to do with the property? Do you mean the property that's already that, been that accepted? We're gonna, yeah, they're going to have uh, to buy. At this point, no, it, okay. we don't. Okay, thank you. Further questions for DDC or the Corp Council? Because I'd like to call up the fire department eventually. <laughs> but for those who are at the... Should, Council Member Anderson, go ahead. Should we be forced to purchase one of the properties and we're unable to acquire the other, mm -hmm. then what? What are, what are your options? Well, as, as I just mentioned to Council uh, Chair Apo, uh, right now, I'm not sure if we only acquire that one property, what what would it be turned into? I have no idea. I'm not sure uh, on the CDBG side, since we are purchasing, unless unless somehow we turn around and purchase it with all city funds, what would happen? Should we um, resell the property? Because there's no city need. I, I understand that you have no idea of what will become of it. I'm asking right. you, what are you permitted to do with it? I guess anything that the zoning allows. Or possibly sell it to get the city's money back yes okay um but the, as i said i'm not sure what the cdbg require you know because it's cdbg funding <coughs> we would probably i would think that we would have to pay that back i'm not sure okay. I, I i don't know that. but again just to uh, reiterate what you told the chair the department was aware that both properties were necessary in order to carry out the plan of constructing the new fire station yes okay then I just have some great problem with not going ahead and making sure that we were able to do both parts of this plan rather than trying to do it it seems that we're trying to do it piecemeal here well okay so we got one we need you to sell us the other if you're not going to then we'll just take it from you through eminent domain I'm very uncomfortable with that yeah well it seems that's what we're doing here sir you know with all due respect, eminent domain is not a nice thing to go through. Um, but I think we should have done our due diligence well, to, make, to ensure that we had this property owner's consent before we got be, before well, even buying the other parcel or committing uh, to buy the other. You know, parcel. as I said, with all due respect, I don't think in in very many projects you're going to get consent from the owners. I mean, you know, just as a let's say it's something like H one. I mean, you know, you go through. All these properties, nobody wants to sell and move, but the project has to go through. They had to do something. We have to find a site for the fire station. These were the selected sites. But diverting an entire freeway versus having to 
purchase another know, piece just, of property I'm, that no, has buildings on yeah, it but and I'm demolish them. I'm just using that as, a, as an example that there is a need, there is a public need, and this is the process. But but even your other your your other scenario where you said you know maybe you need to you need 50 parcels in order to do your project. 49 say okay, and one owner says no. If you need all 50 to go ahead with your project, then I think you better, you know, you should darn well make sure that you've got all 50 on board before buying the, the before just purchasing yeah, that, 48 you know, or 49. Like a, <laughs> you can't do, you can't work that way. Otherwise, the city would never do public projects. If you need consent from the property owner prior to a project happening, we would never do, never do capital pro projects. We never would have built H1. Because you can't, you cannot get, you know, I don't know of any, any real project that you get like 100% approval before you go in with the project? No, that's not reality. Yeah. And <laughs> okay. Further questions from the members? Okay, one more. So then we can, I'd like to move to the fire department. Council Member um, Kobayashi. Do you remember the uh, slaughterhouse property that had to go through condemnation for the Middle Street bus station? Uh, I know of the property, but I don't, yeah, I don't know the details of that. Didn't that take about 10 years? The uh, condemnation process? Uh, I'm not sure. Generally okay. speaking, the, the entire process, the court process and everything, uh, I, would, I would just, the, off the top of my head, would take probably maybe like two to three years before you actually yeah, settle the court. That's if the owner doesn't contest yeah. the yeah. amount. The, the, the way the, the, the whole process goes is, uh, well, you make the offer to the owner, obviously. Right. Well, and, and let's not go into the whole process, yeah. but I mean, if the owner contest the amount offered, yes. then isn't that why that Middle Street bus station took so long? Uh, probably. No. Uh, I mean, I don't, like I said, I don't know. Chair, sure. I mean, <laughs> Council Member Kobayashi, that case uh, was resolved in maybe two years, but the implementation of the uh, settlement took a while because we had to do some subdivisions through land court. Uh -huh.